collabsies. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so I have something to tell you. Okay. When I reached forward about five minutes ago, that was when I started recording the audio. Okay. So we're going to take a break. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do the first part again. Okay, that's totally cool. Okay. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Collabsies. This song's called Wallace Bridge. Right? That's Karen Ng. She was sweet from the first glance. Long hair and big brown eyes. Took her to the Wallace Bridge. She said it wasn't her first time. She said her love is like graffiti. Songs real, songs corporate lies. I asked her which one she liked better. Said there's only one I tried. Karen Ng. It is the beginning of the interview because I pressed play this time. Let's record. <laughs> you okay. are a member of the Toronto Woodwind Illuminati. <laughs> Saxophonist and clarinetist. You recently took a position with the Guelph Jazz Festival. Yes. And true. you've been uh, touring and hanging out with artists like uh, Andy Schaff and Do Make Say Think and a bunch of things over the years. Yeah. Like, you know, there are all these different contexts, which is, I find is really nice for any instrument, but with horn players too, it's like you find yourself in these strange musical contexts, but then you're like, oh, hey, I get to play with Nick, or oh, hey, I get to play with Tom Richards, or Rebecca Hennessy, or whatever. It's kind of cool to sort of dabble in these things. And of course, just a lot of hanging out, right? Like at St. Clarence House and oh, yeah. at the Concord, like, <laughs> yeah. I still think of like the epic shows we had like the one where we when it was like the halloween show the double thing. yeah this we like flew in in the cardboard spaceship there and it was, was like double bill with a machine. there was a snark machine and light up drums <laughs> and like it was a double bill with snarky puppy right like That's before right. then when they were still playing at the rex um, uh yesterday i listened to your record <laughs> which is your first official karen ing recording right like, yeah as a leader and you play clarinet on it as well, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Which is, like, thrilling. We're going through that process. There's a lot of thought for every step and just trying to, you know, translate what's going on in your head. And I sort of went the other way where I just, the whole album is improvised and I just improvised three days in a row and recorded it all and then picked what I liked. And, That's so cool. Yeah, mixed and mastered it very quickly and, you know, <laughs> all the artwork, like, I don't know anything about artwork so I just made everything by myself because I good for you yeah it seemed like the easiest thing to do yeah it's, and to just take things in your own hands right you don't have to think about like um yeah like uh labels or anything it's just like I just wanted to just do things on my own terms and like and get it out there as quickly as possible you know so 
Yeah. I was in an old pirate prison uh, in Amsterdam. And it was like, so basically in the uh, largest bridge over one of the canals underneath is a concrete hole. And there was a festival happening there in... Um, in the hole? In the hole. One entrance, <laughs> uh, lots hole. of candles, and I, it was rammed. And I remember the Canadian and me being like, is this safe? Just because I'm a nerd. Three saxophones. I'll say Steve Lacey. Mm-hmm. Um, Ornette Coleman mm -hmm. and Ab Bars, who is a person that I studied with in Amsterdam. Ab Bars. Ab Bars. You would love Ab Bars. If you're into like Albert Eiler, like you'll love yeah. Ab Bars. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah. Karen, I want to say thank you so much. And we're going to do a collabsies. Okay. Uh, how do you explain free jazz to people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like um, just uh, reacting as quickly as possible to what's going on around you. Collabsies! I don't want it on record that I'm willing to play free jazz.